We are driving cross country from Maryland to Colorado using our RV. Big Blue, as the kids have named her, is dragging home away from home. And we have planned a few stops along the way. I will share some of the meals that we have cooked in the RV. And each day I kept track of some things that I found helpful to get to our destination. Some helpful road trip things that just made the trip a little bit easier along the way. And I dropped some timestamps in the description box below for some of the places we went to. Okay, my very first favorite thing is my hydro flask. It keeps my water cold for hours and hours, which we spend in the car every day getting our way to Colorado. I use a reusable silicone straw, and then I also have reusable spoons in the same packet. They didn't come together when I bought them. I just keep them together inside this packet. For those times that we got takeout and they didn't have any utensils left or any straws, these things come in very handy. And then of course, kids have iPads for the quiet afternoon portion of the day. We'll talk about the mornings too. Our first day took us from Maryland to Grafton, West Virginia. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky it's That first day we logged 263 miles to get to the campsite and Andy got the outside ready by hooking up water, sewer, and electric, and I got the inside ready by unpacking a little bit and making dinner. I was making peppers and onions with kielbasa and mashed potatoes. On every one of our RV trips so far, I have made kielbasa. It's already cooked and in the package, so all you have to do is heat it up, which keeps you from overheating the inside of the RV. And I got these on my Target run, these side packet of mashed potatoes, just trying to keep things simple. Andy had made his way inside and was adjusting the bunk ladder that we bought for the trip. He had a pipe cutter thing. <laughs> Doesn't everybody travel with a pipe cutter? Anyway, the kids love it, it fits fine, and they just switch it from side to side to get up. Yay, sweetie. I need to be until it's seven o'clock. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we are in Grafton, West Virginia. Here we are. A it's family like fishing and fun. And camping. A family fishing and, and camping. camping. Family fun camping. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. It's okay. Yeah. Um it's seven o'clock in the morning. Kids are still sleeping. Took Rangy for a walk. Well, I took Rangy for a walk and Andy stayed with the kids. Andy had a dream last night on night one that um, we had an RV that had autopilot and he could sleep while it drove. As a matter of fact, the, the, the seats that you drive, the driver's seat and the passenger seat folded down and there was a giant bed. All the controls for driving just folded away and it was like a little room there. Um, and, it, and it found itself in a, in a street that was blocked off and it just stopped. And Erica was so mad when I wanted to fold the seats out and try to drive it on my own. <laughs> so like, why are you doing that? Just let it drive. We're adjusting <laughs> <laughs> to the 24 day trek. Andy's already having dreams about autopilot RV mm -hmm. on night one. <laughs> 23 days to kill. <laughs> now we're the only We made the marble statue of right Dragon's not awake. Yeah, Good morning, buddy. There he is. He's awake. <laughs> Kids are playing Legos. The older two have had breakfast. We did sausage sandwiches. I just did freezer sausage in the microwave. So it's like a no bake breakfast with mini bagels um, or on Hawaiian bread. And then some fruit we had, some grapes, and some strawberries that were already cut up. So Andy's got to maneuver out of our spot and around this bend. This campground does not have a turnaround, so he's going to have to try to navigate here or maybe down there at the Y by the pond. 
to try to get out of here. We've got walkie talkies to talk to each other so I can tell him if he's about to hit something, which is my job right now. I gotta go do that. All right, on the road to Ashland, Kentucky. Okay, so another thing would definitely be something to clean the hands for road trip essentials. Um, I use, we have the, you know, hand sanitizer stuff. And then I have a package of wipes. So in the mornings, we have coloring books and workbooks and um, uh, little lap pads. Brandon show, Brandon, show us your lap pad. Lap pad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little lap pads. And then they have the little car kits. <laughs> and I have a couple of things that I just change it up each morning so that I have something different each morning to keep their interest. Uh, Jack has crayons, Brandon has pencils, and Becca has colored pencils. And that's what they like individually to have. So that's how they occupy their mornings before lunch. And then in the afternoons, like I already mentioned, we do iPads with headphones to get us through the rest, the latter half of the trip of the day and occupy them like Andy on hitches and levels the RV. And we are leaving Grafton, West Virginia, family fishing and camping. Thank you for having us. Yeah. We try to keep we, it above we, a half a tank. We're at, we're full. I filled up before we left. Yeah, Andy went and got gas last night and took Rebecca out for some ice cream. Yeah. So we, she needed it. Yeah, she needed a little break and some one-on-one -on -one time with a parent. And now we're gonna go 200 miles to Ashland, KOA, Kentucky. Uh, 205 miles. It'll take three hours and 40 minutes according to RV Trip Wizard, which is the safe route. Uh, taking in, into consideration low bridges, that kind of stuff. Uh, three hours and ten minutes, it says, by Waze. Okay. So we watch both, but RV Trip Wizard is our default. So there's Waze, and we have RV Trip Wizard GPS right up here on the phone. So this bag is broken. I got it for free with purchase when I bought a bunch of meat from the farmer's market. And um, I just use it as a tote bag. So today it's stuffed full of snacks and juices and... Applesauce is back there. I have a Yeti, which a Yeti cooler, the M30 hopper, has our lunch in it. Boys, everybody had a bio break. The girls went first. Rangy got some water. We also have these collapsible bowls, water bowls for range. Since I mentioned my water and I just fill it with my water for him. I need your drink out of it, so now I'll collapse it down and store it in the pocket in the back seat. to Ashland, Kentucky. I got a shower. It's crazy hot. So my hair dried in like 2.5 seconds. It's really hot to cook in the RV. It makes the RV hotter. So I'm just browning some meat. I'm going to toss it in here with this spaghetti sauce and and make it over linguine. I'm really glad I bought this strainer at Target. I, I had thought of it for cleaning fruit on the road. I didn't even think about a need to strain meat. pot never boils or does a pot on an RV stove I got the meat sauce going and that'll be dinner tonight there's my crew heading to miniature golf that's right there and the pool is right there we did that for a couple hours they're gonna go there while I make some dinner Rangy's in the RV, probably unhappy, but it's too hot for him. And we don't have an outdoor bed. We got to get an outdoor bed on this trip for him to be able to lay here. Plus, there's like, just no shade for him. So he's inside in the air conditioning. And then I have this driving drying rack in the RV. It folds in half, which is real nice for storage. And we've got all of our swim gear on here and our stuff from the shower. Everybody got showers. And this stuff's almost dry. It's so hot. <laughs> Breakfast this morning was bagels with cream cheese or bagels with peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. 
bananas. I had bananas and now she's eating some goldfish. And Jackie had peanut butter and jelly in a bowl. I have coffee somewhere. Coffee. <clears throat> We're gonna get on the road. Right, Range? Hey, go, bye bye. Kiddos are playing with playground. The other side of this one. Andy's hooking up. Ooh, good morning, hair. Nice to see you. We've done 493 and a half miles. Uh, uh, the truck's been running for 13 and a half hours, but that's hitching and unhitching time as well. Um, what? We, we're averaging, oh, total. Yeah, and we're classic. averaging 7.6 miles per gallon right now. Jellystone and Mammoth Caves Park. We passed Dinosaur World on the way in, hoping to check that out. And then Andy's setting us up at camp. It's raining a little bit. It was pouring rain. It's just drizzling now. And we'll see what's what for the rest of the day. We gotta go grocery shopping. We are out of lunch and dinner things. And ice, and ice for the beer cooler. Let's go! Dinosaur World! All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, now watch. Here, move down a little bit. Okay, now watch Brynn and do it, Brynn. Turn it to the side and wash it in the water, pal. See how Brynn's doing it? Now lift it up and sift it back and forth. And keep doing that and you're gonna wash away all the dirt. Okay, guys, go ahead. I just want to get the gem that we're getting a bunch of gems. Yeah, keep going. I think I got an emerald. Cool, dude. I don't know why you're citrine is the same thing as uh, you know, amethyst, only it had a different iron, you know, material run through the rock. So it changed it to brown instead of purple. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Jackie, you got a lot, pal. No. Oh, look at this big gem. Mm-hmm. Becca, you got obsidian. We got three bags this size full. So cool. Dimitri, you're actually looking at me. If you feel like he's looking at you, <laughs> wave, say hi. Those? No, they have to be. Oh yeah, they are. They're, they're I think this is. This one's. This one. is one of the coolest ones we got. Could you get a bowl? This amethyst oh. one. Mommy, could you get a bowl of water so I can clean these off? Oh, mommy, mommy. Mommy, mommy. Yeah, you are show, so dirty. Let's, let's, let's show Daddy my dinosaur and my sunglasses. Okay, that's we'll get everything out. Mommy, can I have my dinosaur glasses? Can I see you please? Did someone write on your face no. with the ash stick? No. Andy's making bacon burgers for dinner. And I'm doing Ready corn on the go. cob. You see them? Oh, they're not there yet. Oh. <laughs> and the local store had corn on the cob. So I'm gonna make that as a side dish for bacon burgers, corn on the cob, maybe some potato chips. We're in the caves. Mammoth caves. <laughs> Can't really see anything. And we just walked around the caves, which is a quarter mile to get to it, half mile in, quarter mile back. 
and we're on that quarter mile back right now. This way, and we're going over, we're gonna go up like this to there. Mount stay, Vernon, Illinois. We're gonna stay like right there, right? That's St. Louis right there. We're gonna stay right Turn outside St. Louis. Turn out to be excited, Brennan. Hi, <laughs> Chuck, Chuck. So we can't do Jackie. Indiana. We're not, gonna be, we're not gonna be able to do Indiana because we're not staying there. Put your feet on the bumper. Put your feet on the bumper. Take a look at our sticker. We started in Maryland, then we went to West Virginia, and now we're in Kentucky. Now we're gonna go to Illinois today. Andy's breaking down, breaking camp. Kids are playing with dinosaurs. This one's mad about something. And we're heading to Illinois today. 260 miles, I think, something like that. Jellystone was great. They had lots of things for kids. I would give it three out of five stars uh, because the value versus the price isn't there for us. We had a very uneven site and it was $100 a night, which was ridiculous, but the kids had lots of things to do. The splash pad, the pool, the water, there is a beach that was nice, but there's a section of the beach that has these like big floaty things that you have to pay extra for. I mean, it's just, there was a lot of extra costs. Golf carts are $115 a day. Crazy. Jack, off of reacquaint and say hello. Tonight yeah. we're having tacos. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Ranger, you're not having Taco Tuesday. Here's your dinner. Oh, you ate it. Good job, buddy. You can clean up every Taco Tuesday. Good morning, friends. What? Um. Walking the doggy with Jackie. It's the morning of day 1000. I don't know. Well, Andy gets the outside of the RV ready to go. I am in charge of the inside. So I close up the sink, get the kids ready, fill water bottles, get the dog ready and load everybody up into the truck, which enables Andy to pull the slide in and hitch up to ready to go. Hey. Stop. Wait a minute. I have no idea what state we're in. We're going to Missouri today. We're going to Missouri. So we are leaving now. It is uh, nine o'clock in the morning. We have 1,065 miles under our belts. Average gas uh, uh, mileage is uh, 7.9. You don't count gas mileage when you're RV. Mommy. <laughs> we're yes. gonna go nuts. What's up, dude? Somewhere over the rainbow. Now that's something. I like that one. Yeah. 
well, we're minimalists. We didn't make it <laughs> one week without needing to do laundry for the amount of clothes that we have. I'm starting with a load of colors. I got quarters from the shop and I'm heading over to the laundromat. It's recently renovated. I brought my drops detergent from home to use here. So we still use all the same soap and this looks pretty decent. Recently renovated. These machines look new. They've got a foosball and a pool table. Pretty cool. And it's very cool in here. The temperature is so nice because it's disgusting hot out right now. Oh my. My hair is getting worse and worse by the day. We were not got washed yesterday, but it's so hot. I am out of pants. This is my last shirt. These are my last pants. Those are not getting washed today. And I don't know what Andy's on, but he has a whole bunch of clothes in here. Uh, the kids, my oldest son doesn't have any underwear left. He has two pairs of shorts. My youngest son has four pairs of shorts left, but don't know how that happened, and two pajamas. I think he's been wearing the same pajamas for this entire trip. My daughter is like, tenders of underwear and no clothes left. I think we have the right balance of clothes at this season of life as minimalists. I did think we were gonna get to Colorado without having to do laundry. I'm gonna hide in here from my family for a minute because it's air conditioned. The RV hasn't cooled down yet. Andy's got the kids. I'm a sweaty spaghetti. I'm gonna call my mom. I haven't talked to her in two days. That's what I'm gonna do now. Show, show, me show mommy sticker. the sticker you just did. And what's it called? Illinois. Illinois, because that's where we stayed when? <laughs> Last night. What state is this one? Where are these letters? What letters are those? M-O. M-O, what do you think that stands for? Jack's turn for stickers. Let's do Missouri. Where's Missouri? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Janet would be so proud of you saying it like that. <laughs> Co-worker from Missouri. Okay. Where is it? So here's Missouri. Okay. And you're gonna take this sticker and you're gonna put it on there in the lines, okay? okay. Can you do that? Okay, go ahead, put it on in the lines. Look at our stickers. Look where we've been. Can you tell where we've been going this trip? <laughs> we went. Good job, buddy. Nice move, but I'm 
making beef stew tonight. Carrots are in the fridge. I'm gonna add some potatoes. I'm gonna season it with a tiny little bit of Italian dressing. I usually marinate it overnight, the beef beforehand. I didn't have time to do that. Beef broth, a little garlic powder, salt, pepper. See how that comes out. Hopefully good, because I do not have anything else for dinner. <laughs> Kids are playing right there. Shake, fist bump, backhand, front hand, and Oh, uh oh, what does that say? Aliens have beamed you forward three spaces. Move three more spaces. One. Jackie, Gacko! Jack, take out your tongue and touch your nose. I can't. Yes, you can. Take out your mm. tongue, take out your tongue. There, you just did it. You no, I Yeah, you did. my hand. Easy. Move four spaces. Ready? One, two, three. Three. Ooh. Oh, good job. Good job. What right? does that say? We ready? Yeah. Let's go. Andy and I have found a rhythm on responsibilities on this trip. And one of my last responsibilities before we get on the road is to do a campsite check. After he pulls out, I check for trash and toys and anything we might have left behind. And then I jump in the car and we go. We're at uh, 1,880 miles, average 7.8 miles per gallon for the trip. Uh, we were at eight and then we hit Nebraska winds and the steady climb that killed us. Uh, By the way, how did but you, how did otherwise, you we're off to Colorado. Last, last leg of the trip final to our final destination. states that we've taken this particular RV to so far and we are like right here right that was yesterday oh wait we're right here. never mind we're in Colorado <laughs> totally <laughs> yes we crossed into Colorado today oh my goodness this trip is a bit of a blur we are about here at Buckley Air Force Base in Colorado for two days and then we move on to Loveland RV Park for seven days it'll be nice to stay put but here we are at Buckley Air Force Base Fam Camp. We are here in Colorado in Loveland and we are visiting with family and friends, which was the main point of our trip, was for the cousins to all play together and meet for the first time. We had a splendid week here in Colorado and we'll be heading home for five day trip back home, 1700 miles back home instead of 2000 it took out. We are cutting it short, just drawing a straight line to get back home to Annapolis, Maryland. Andy was able to take this time off because he deployed for about two and a half years and saved up his vacation. He's been home for about a year, and if you don't use it, you lose it. So we ended up planning a, two, a three and a half week trip out to Colorado. Thanks for watching. Would love for you to subscribe and join our family here online.